in this video we will put some clothes onto a model. So I'm gonna start off by deleting everything and using Manuel Bastioni Lab. I'll put a link down in the description where you can download this. It's a free add-on that is still being developed for Blender 2.8, but you kind of have to know where to find it. So check the link down below. What this add-on does, it allows us to very quickly create uh, 3D characters, basically. So all you have to do is create character and up here you can pick what you want, woman, man. I'm just gonna go with the default woman here and maybe I can change the pose so that I want her arms to be out of the way basically. Yeah, let's just do this. Okay, now we still have the armature visible so you can turn that off here if it's in the way. So this is what uh, the MB lab gives you. You can very quickly create bodies and they're fully rigged so you can go in and, and move uh, the bones around and everything. We're not going to do any of that. I just want this model here so I can put something on her like a let's do a towel. Okay um, to do that we have to talk about something else real quick and that is a feature of the cloth sim that we haven't used yet. Uh, let me show you maybe back here. Let's add, let's add a cube. And then I'm also going to add a mesh circle. Place that over here, scale it down. Something like this. Okay, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to create a rubber band. So extrude on the C, extrude, scale. Let's just create a, a rubber band real quick. And then enable the, cl oh, first of all, I have to make this into a collision object and then make this a cloth simulation. And I think I've shown the shrinking feature before, but haven't really used it yet. So here we can say, we can define a shrink factor so we can make our cloth, this is now a cloth basically, we can make it shrink down to 0.5 of its original size as soon as the uh, simulation starts. This is quite a lot and also I want to switch off gravity. And you can see this is what happens if I go in here and for the cloth uh, features of the collision object here. I turn the friction up again and you can see our cloth shrinks down because of this shrink factor here which basically turns it into a rubber band. Okay and this is exactly the feature that we're going to use here to put some clothes onto or a towel onto this model. Okay, how do we do that? First, we're gonna take a cylinder and switch off the cap fill type to, or switch it to nothing. So uh, the cylinder is open on the top and the bottom and we can go into edit mode. And now all we have to do is place this cylinder where we want it. So maybe something like this is good. Let's Take this loop, bring it down a little. Okay, this looks cool already. Now I'm gonna control R and put a bunch of edge loops in here, like this. Now I'm gonna shape this a little, also switch on proportional editing. So bring this in. Move it forward. I'm just doing this so that I'm getting as close as possible to the body with my towel here. I think I can scale this on the Y quite a bit. Move it forward like this. Okay. Okay. 
well, we can tweak this and fine tune it a little. And all we really have to do now is go in here, take maybe the first two uh, loops here, edge loops, and then assign this to a vertex group called it shrink. So what I'm basically thinking here is I'm putting a rubber band in here into the top. The rest is just going to fall around and fly around uh, with the cloth simulation. But those rubber bands is really what's going to pull this towards the body. Which means, of course, the body has to be a collision object. So you'll find the mesh data here and go to the physics and make this a collision object. Uh, turn down the thickness outer and turn the friction all the way up. I think 80 is the maximum because basically I want this to shrink down and then kind of stick to the body. Okay. So let me save this. So we turn this into a cloth, turn up the quality steps. We want uh, the collision. We already have that collision. Turn up the collision quality and turn down the distance here so that it gets closer to the body. And then we can have gravity. Yeah, we do want gravity because then we get nice folds, wrinkles. And let's see, where is the shrinking? Oh, of course, I have to go to property weights. All I want to shrink are the selected vertices. So I'm using this and turn the shrink to, I don't know, 0.25 maybe. Let's try this out. It shrinks, it sticks to the body, and it's falling down nicely. It's looking good. Okay, just so you know what I'm doing here. First of all, the mesh data here has the collision on it and it has a high friction value. If I turn off the friction here, you will see that the towel just falls down basically. It slides off. Oh, now the, now the rubber band here is strong enough that it kind of sits on the hips. <laughs> this is also, also cool. So now basically I made a skirt. Hmm, interesting. But if I go in here, and turn the friction up again. Then what I get is the towel that I was looking for. So the towel or the cloth sticks to the body. The rubber band that's in the top here just pulls everything together and the rest is a cloth simulation that's using the body for, uh, you know, the collision. So this is what we get. Shade smooth, add a subdivision surface on top of this. And then you can see here that we always have this distance here between the body and the cloth. And really you can only get rid of this if you want it super tight here by going to the collision settings here. Maybe turning this distance down and the collision object here, turning this down. Maybe this, I don't know. Let's see. Hit play. And now it's much closer here. And also uh, using the quality steps and the collision steps quality here also helps. Just so you know. I'm letting this play a little to see what we get. And this looks pretty cool. And you can see you get all natural wrinkles. And now all again, all you have to do is add a material. So let's do that quick. Switch over to Eevee. Ha, huh, I don't have any light. I'm just gonna add an environment texture. Or you know what? I'm gonna light this. So let's create an area light. This is going to be our key light. Key light. Rather big and soft light here. So maybe turn this up. 
So we have some light on her. And then I'm going to add an area light in the back. Like this. Make it a rectangle, make it a strip box. Like so. Turn this up quite a bit to get a uh, nice rim lighting, which also helps when you have the creases. Maybe even do one on this side and another one on the back. So maybe turn this down, something like this. So now we have nice lighting. Now I'm gonna go to maybe end 50 select my cloth where's the cache here set this end to 50 and bake this real quick okay baking is done so now i can simply jump to a frame that i like so here we have nice folds okay now let's turn uh, now let's give the towel a material. So maybe switch uh, this to a shader editor, create a new material and go to cc0textures.com and uh, I found this fabric number eight here. Okay, so let's download the 2K version here. Save it. So I have to unpack it. Okay, so I unpacked the zip file. Now, Control Shift T. This is the Node Wrangler add on, um, which also comes with Blender. Just have to enable it. Control Shift T opens a file viewer. Now, let's take that Fabric 8. I want to use. What do I want? I want the color, the displacement, the normals, the roughness. Yeah, let's take those four and click on Principled Texture Setup and look at what that does. And that's the Control Shift T. It places everything in here and hooks it all up for us. So we have a mapping node using the UV coordinates. Remember I started using um, a cylinder to make this towel and the cylinder by default is already UV unwrapped in Blender. And now this Control Shift T shortcut took the color and plugged it into the base color. It takes the roughness image and plugs it into the roughness. It takes the normal map, puts it into a normal map, puts that in here, and it even takes the displacement through a displacement node and puts it on here. I think I'm gonna disconnect that though, cause I'm in Eevee and I really don't need that. So we have a normal map anyway. You can see we have uh, this, which is quite big, but it looks nice. So let's turn the scale up here to make it more look like a towel, maybe scale of seven. Um, I don't know if this shows up in the recording, but I have this constant blinking going on here. And that is just, I think, because of this plugin that's showing what I'm pressing down here. If I switch that off, now you don't see what I'm doing, but this blinking start stops. So this is how you can super quickly use the cloth simulation in Blender to put a towel onto a model. So she's not naked anymore. That is it for this tutorial series. I hope it was interesting and entertaining and you too will give cloth sims in Blender a try. I find it is a lot of fun to play with and especially with the new features that just got introduced in Blender, I'm sure we will see lots of creative ideas in the future. Please tag me if you post your own awesome creations so I can admire your work. Remember all of the files uh, I created in this series are available for download over at patreon.com slash crispy. If you're new to my channel, a sub is greatly appreciated and check out the other Blender tutorials on here. Thanks for watching, Chris P out.